When we got up to the top of the hill from St. Palmfield, I could see the church steeple. And I said, oh my gosh, I can't believe there's a town here. And there was, it was called St. Palmfield. And uh, we got down to the house and I go, oh my gosh, we're living in a regular house with electricity and everything. I thought we were gonna be pumping water or going to the brook and getting water. That's what I thought. It's a long way from Long Island to the northwest corner of Aroostook County, Maine, but it's a journey that Judy Sirwe does not regret. She came to Maine expecting her first child. Her husband, Rod, a Maine native, had just taken a job as a game warden, and she had a whole new world to familiarize herself with, including crossing narrow bridges on logging roads as Rod watched. And he says, bring the truck across. He didn't want to walk back. And I said, oh, I'm not going to go across that bridge. It was just a small bridge. I said, it's got no lights. There's no lights on the sides and there's no sides. They're, they're, I'm going to fall in the river. And I was so afraid to cross that bridge because I thought I was going to fall in. And my husband's on the other side. I said, I'm not going to do it. You come back. He goes, if you're going to live here and be happy, you get in that truck and drive it across this bridge. And so I did. Even though some of the other wardens had bets on how long the woman from Long Island would stay, she quickly became part of the community. What I couldn't get over is before the baby was born and I came up here, they, the, the women here, they didn't even know me. And they had handmade gifts and a baby shower for me. And that's how I met the women, is through this baby shower. And I couldn't believe that they took time to hand make something for a stranger. I was so surprised. She had never grown a garden before, but a friend taught her how. We were going to have my first garden. So I said, you're going to have to help me show me which ones are weeds and which ones are the, the vegetables, because I don't know. Well, she said, first you got to dig up the garden. So I'm digging up the garden and I'm throwing all the earthworms out of the garden, thinking they're going to eat the tomato plants. And so I told her that. She goes, no, the worms are good for the garden. So I said, oh, okay, I didn't know that. And so she came and helped me plant. And then when they started growing, she showed me these are carrots. These, this is weeds, you know, and things like that. So she had to show me that. Her husband, meanwhile, taught her skills from the woods. He started trapping. And so then, you know, he said, well, you can skin out the animals. So I said, well, how do you do that? So uh, anyway, he taught me how to do it. And uh, then I started skinning out all his animals that he caught, coyote or uh, um, fisher or otter or any, you know, uh, muskrat. Later on, in, when my s first boy was maybe 13, 14, I'm not sure, he wanted to make some money, and um, the fur was good at that time, the price of fur. And I said, well, I don't know why I'm skidding at all these animals when I could have my own trap line with my son. So he built all the cages and stuff like that. And I have pictures of that. And uh, we piled it all on the truck and uh, took off and I, we trapped. Among the most unusual guests at the Siraway House were a pair of coyotes they raised as part of a biologist's study. The two coyotes came to them as pups. So we kept the coyotes in the house. And um, Clem, at three years old, he was, he was feeding them with a baby bottle. I was feeding them with a baby bottle. Their eyes started to open up. We had a cat. The cat was familiar with the coyotes. And the cat started sleeping on top of uh, the chairs because... The coyotes kept going after the cat and kept nibbling at the cat's mouth. Most of all, Siraway has been able to watch her children develop a sense of wonder and appreciation 
for the natural world. I had a skidoo and um, a bunch of wood to bring in on a uh, tote sled, ready to go, so I could bring these this um, equipment into the guy that was finishing the inside of the camp. I'm kind of loading it, and um, my little boy of two years old said, Mommy, come here. And he's on the skidoo trail, and he says, Lay down here. And he said, we looked up, and he goes, isn't that just beautiful? He's only two years old. Isn't this a beautiful world? 